Okay, good morning, welcome to Phantasm 162A. So uh, last night I saw an interesting 15-minute uh, video by Joe Bowler, who's a professor at Stanford, and she studies how people learn math. <laughs> and she likes to do a thing called number talks. Yep. Okay? And are you ready? Yep. So you're not going to write anything down, and you're not going to um, uh, do anything other than do this in your head. Okay? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me, please, what is 5 times 18? Hmm. Well, it's 90. Okay. Can you tell me how you figured that out? Well, I did 5 times 10 and then 5 times 8. 5 times 10 and then 5 times 8? Yep. And then what? Then I added them together. To okay. Alright, so let's draw a picture of that on the board. I'll do that real quick. So you said here's 5 times 18. Yep. And you said that was the same as 5 times 10 plus 5 times 8. Yep. Okay. Now, so that's what you did? Yeah. Could you tell me a different way? Can you think of a different way to do that? Is there more than one way to do 5 times 18? Well, there's one way, but it's this, sort of the same. Okay, well that's okay. Tell me, what, tell me what you're thinking now. Well, you could do them both together. What do you mean? I don't know. What do you mean? So, you could do 5 times 10 and 5 times 8 together, but that's... Oh, at the same time. Yeah, that's pretty similar. I'm looking for a way that's, that's a little more different than that. Well, you could do 5 times 9 times 2. Oh, interesting. How would that work? Well, 5 times 9 is 45 times 2 is 90. Oh, hey, high five. Good job thinking about that one. So you said here, you know what kind of math you used to, to do that? Mm, multiplication. What, what kind of math did you use to go from here to here? Simpl I simplified. You simplified, yeah, and that's called factoring. So that's really good. All right, hey, good job. Good job. We're going to talk a little bit more about a more complicated problem in a, in a minute, but I want to do the same thing with your brother now, okay? Yep. 